Catering. Have you ever been to an event where the food comes out too cold or not cooked to order? Well, Ami Catering has a solution. With fondue, everything is cooked exactly how you want it and it won't get cold because you're the one cooking it right at your table with the use of portable stovetops. This gives our customers a more fun and interactive way to experience their food. A quick, hit, a quick history. Fondue is a mixture of French, Swiss, and Italian influences. <clears throat> it gained popularity in the U.S. in the 1960s and kind of died, died down towards the end of the 1970s. So, hopefully some of our audience members have memories of making fun of their dog rooms and going to fondue parties. And they all should know some of the hassles of the food preparation, in addition to most households only have enough money to buy one fondue pot, or only see the logic of buying one fondue pot. So they don't have the option of enjoying all courses but one. Well, we make this experience easy. We started the event by showing up to the event location a few hours early for food prep and setup. Um, there's going to be one fondue pot for every two people at the event, and the fondue pot itself has a removable bowl on the inside so that our staff can easily and swiftly move through the, um, the course process. We make this four-course fondue experience simple, safe, and worry-free for the customers. Our target market is between the ages of 25 and 60, we wish to serve the upper to middle class populations of the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. We'll also really be focusing in on the wedding industry, marketing within bridal boutiques, magazines with event planners, and also by participating in bridal shows. I'm now going to hand out a menu to the judges so they can look at what Ami has to offer. We offer our customers different packages, which may include salads, cheese appetizers, main courses, and chocolate desserts. On this menu, we've also included lactose-free and gluten-free options, along with making sure that everything is organic. Um, through our industry research, we found that these are major trends that should not go unnoticed. Continuing on that note, about 80% of consumers now look for locally grown organic ingredients to aid them with their healthy lifestyles. So along with giving consumers the food they want, we want them to have a fun, interactive experience that they won't forget. Our marketing campaign is to have the customers leave happy. This is important to us in order to build relationships and a repeat customer base. The relationships we build now will help our future success in opening a restaurant. The main purpose of the meat catering is to raise initial funds for this restaurant and just to test and see if Fondue would make a vi viable business before we do decide to expand. A quick recap. We plan on starting in the catering industry to practice our recipes and build a loyal customer base in the Minneapolis Twin Cities area. We use that revenue to build a brick and mortar store in the same area so we can serve all income levels. Overall, we believe we can give consumers a fun, interactive experience at their catered event that they won't soon forget. You're sure to have fun, fondue memories with friends and family <laughs> ahead of me. Uh, thank you for coming to our presentation. Uh, and for your consideration with this competition, uh, we're now opening it up for 10 questions. Can you expand a little bit more on your thoughts about marketing, getting the word out, especially in a big market like Minneapolis, St. Paul? Sure, I mean, I think a lot of it comes from just uh, like people telling each other, like word of mouth, but I mean, we're gonna have a website and um, like social networking, which is free. And like within the bridal boutiques, we're gonna have like flyers and everything. And then we're gonna try to work with event planners to see if they'll um, like help us and we can like kind of pair up and uh, like, well, um, they'll, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, they're going to kind of recommend us and then we'll recommend them as well. In addition to, we plan on uh, contacting the Star Tribune and having an article within the newspaper about our services. So I'm intrigued by your idea, but I'm a little bit curious about your financing. And usually this sort of business is a bootstrap business, and uh, I'm a little bit concerned about your plans for investors and venture capital. Why? Like, what is your concern? 
Why would you go that route? Why would you? Oh, no, that would be for more of a, like the restaurant once we do go on, because that's going to take us like a million dollars to start up a restaurant. Okay. But for the um, catering part, we're going to just pitch in our own money okay. and go from there. Okay. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna borrow like fifteen thousand dollars. Uh, in addition to there's very little competition uh, for fondue related uh, restaurants and catering, but uh, has anybody heard of the Melting Pot in the Twin Cities? Yeah. Uh, it's a very high end, uh, popular restaurant. It's franchised and it's um, quite popular throughout the United States. They have restaurants throughout the East Coast. Um, but that's primarily the only fondue related um, competition. The United Cater. Yes. <laughs> Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Quick thank our mentor and our um, Professor Marta for giving us uh, guidance and aid throughout this project this semester. Thank you.